The literacy coaches um, at Fairmount at the beginning of the year saw a need from teachers that were wanting to broaden their working space and um, kind of redefine learning and how that looked in the classroom and outside of the classroom. We love coming to the outdoor classroom. We've done a lot of writing assignments out here. We did one last week where we talked about writing with our senses and we got to see, hear, smell, feel different things. I like to come out to the outdoor classroom because the sunlight makes me feel calm and I like the smell of the nat of the natural trees and I like to hear the uh, birds and the planes and the cars and the bugs and everything. I am engaging my virtual students by getting them up and moving using thumbs up, thumbs down, um, having them use their bodies to spell, um, make letters and spell sight words. And uh, I have realized that a dry erase board is a virtual teacher's best friend because they can um, write anything on it and hold it up to the screen. So that's how I've been engaging my virtual students. If what you say is a question, I'm going to move my egg one spot. If we can get the egg all the way to the end, I'll crack it on my head. When do pumpkins grow up? When do pumpkins grow up? Did he ask a question? Yes or no? Was that a question? When do pumpkins grow up? That was a question. When does orange pumpkins grow? When do orange pumpkins grow? Is that a question or not a question? When do orange pumpkins grow? That was a question. Yeah! Are you ready? I'm not ready. Are you ready? Okay, me too. When I first used it, the amount of pride I had that the kids all logged on, I could see them all graph the line correctly. It just made my heart so happy that they actually were there working. And, um, and I actually would share the screen and share people, other students' whiteboards of what they were doing and how they were succeeding and things I was looking for. Go ahead and tell me what the slope is and go ahead and try to attempt to graph that line. Bison, nice job on the graph. Go ahead and put the slope in there for me and y-intercept. I also try to um, engage students by doing a morning uh, check-in before they log in. On these check-ins, I often ask them, how are you doing today? Usually my first hour kids are always just exhausted and tired, and so that lets me know I need to bring the extra pep to the, the classroom. And then um, I can also see if I have a group overall that's pretty angry. I know I need to put a stop to the learning and we need to talk about what's going on. So by having an emotional check-in every couple days, it allows me to get a sense of where my kids are emotionally every time. How are you guys doing today? Go ahead and grab an emoji. Let me know how you're feeling. Overall, it looks like we're all in a pretty good mood. Couple people in the angry zone, couple people in the blue zone, a lot of people in the green, green, yellow. So this year uh, we've tried different things to get the kids back to normal um, and building community in the classroom. And one is we make a class book so everybody has a page with their picture and something that they like. Uh, so we do this every day for the, um, the first couple weeks. A few weeks in we did Pete the Cat and rocking in my school shoes. So this one is guess who? They have to look at the shoes and then open it and look to see who their friend is. And another one is was incorporating their pictures and what they like to eat, so the environmental print. The kids have um, transitioned back to school wonderfully, um, made new friends and had seen friends from last year. So um, we're off to a great start. One of the ways that I build community in my classroom is by reminding myself and my students that we're all unique people and understanding more about ourselves and about each other can definitely help us feel more connected. Some of the ways that we do this in my classroom are that we hold community meetings 
where we can go around the circle, we can talk about our responses to different topics, we can talk about how we're feeling and about how our goals are going while we're at school. Um, the teachers are really nice and um, and they like help you, like if you don't know what to do, they help you. Well, I, I like being part of the Barnwell community because everybody just helps each other. Yeah, the, they're usually really nice to each other. Um, I have found that kids started to open up a little bit more when I put them into individual breakout rooms. And then when I had them working, I popped from breakout room to breakout room uh, to spend some time one-on-one -on -one with them. And that was interesting because then they would, you know, turn on the camera and spend some time talking to me. And then, you know, the next day then in class I could be like, I missed that smile today. And then the cameras come on. And um, will you tell the audience what you like, um, some of the things you like about virtual learning? What I like about virtual learning is my classmates, my teacher, you know, they sent uh they sung they sung happy birthday to me and that was great. I feel comfortable, you know, going in breakout rooms with my teacher. That, that's very comfortable. And my classmates uh, were very encouraging, and it almost feels like a second family. Like I have a kid who DJs the class every day, and he plays a song for us when we're opening and I'm taking attendance and things like that and so that's fun for us. We have inside jokes just like you would in the classroom. We have nicknames for one another. Um, we let people do talents and so like a kid played the guitar and we had a, kid, a couple kids sing and different things like that. Um, just letting them showcase and shine uh, their talents.